Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel, we've been talking about the deprecation of MV2 extensions in favor of MV3 extensions in the Google Chrome web browser, which uh, deprecates the popular ad blocker uBlock Origin. And I'll leave the previous video on version 139 of Google Chrome, how I got it to work again and brought it back and enabled uBlock Origin again after the deprecation. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. Now, for the longest time, if we head over to Microsoft Edge, it was thought that Edge would not be deprecating MV2 extensions like uBlock Origin. And up until now, Microsoft has no detailed plans regarding Manifest V2 extensions in its official documentation. But just to let you know now, that if we head over to the Edge add-on store, and we do a search for uBlock. uBlock Origin. Microsoft has removed uBlock Origin from the Edge add-ons. And this seems to be a recent development. And uBlock Origin is now just uBlock Origin LUT. So Microsoft has changed this now from an MV2 extension to an MV3. You still get the original uBlock Origin LUT, but uBlock now, as mentioned, is also LUT. So very surprised to see that Microsoft is also going this route. I thought that Microsoft was not going to deprecate according to past developments. Now something just to note, if you do have uBlock Origin installed in your Microsoft Edge web browser, at this stage it still works. But if for whatever reason you have removed it or want to install it, this is where it gets complicated because there's no more download on the Edge add-ons for uBlock Origin as discussed. Now although that is the case, you can still use uBlock Origin a lot, but it doesn't pack the same punch as the so-called original uBlock Origin. It lacks a couple of features, so it doesn't work 100%. And I have experienced that myself, and there's also been some um, comments on the channel regarding that. So, there is a way we can so-called bring back the original uBlock Origin now in Microsoft Edge, and it's very similar to what we did in Google Chrome. So what you would do is you would head over to GitHub, and I'll leave this page linked in the description, where you can download the latest release, stable release of uBlock Origin. So what you would do is you would head to Chromium, zip, click on the download link, and download that to your local drive. And then after you've downloaded that, we would then head to our download location. And we would then extract that archive. And then once that is extracted, it'll open up all the uBlock origin files in this folder. And those are all the files that make up uBlock origin. And just on a side note, you need to leave this folder in your download location. If you delete this, the option will be removed from Edge. And it's only 13.2 megabytes in size, so it's not a very large folder. Then once you've done that, once you've Unzip that archive. You would head back into Microsoft Edge. You would then head to your Manage Extensions page. And just like we did in Google Chrome, you would toggle on Developer Mode. And then you would head to Load Unpacked. Now what you need to do now, and this is important, is you mustn't click on the first folder you see, uBlock 1.65 Chromium. You need to click to the uBlock Chromium. That's the folder you need to select. If you select the first one, this won't work. And then you click on Select Folder, and there we go. There's uBlock Origin back and working in Microsoft Edge. And if you get in the errors, all you do is you click on that, you click Clear All, head back, and then you'll see now that that errors has been removed. And if we head to our extensions, there's uBlock Origin listed as a new extension. So so as mentioned, if you still have uBlock Origin 
install, this will not affect it at this stage. Microsoft hasn't removed it or deprecated the extension from the browser if you still have it installed. It's only deprecated it from the store. So this is the solution to getting it back if for whatever reason you have removed uBlock Origin or you just want to install it into the Edge browser. So it looks like Microsoft now is on the same path as Google Chrome and will be also deprecating MV2 extensions. And obviously if I get any more information regarding Microsoft's plans for uBlock Origin and MV2 extensions going forward, I'll obviously post and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.